Today we're going to be examining the students from the North Carolina School of the Arts to establish a baseline examination and to help get them some insight into what their larynx looks like so they can understand the mechanism with which they're hoping to generate a career. It also allows us to have a baseline examination so that if they have a medical problem with their voice later, we have a baseline examination that we can refer back to and see what they looked like when they were back in their usual state of health. Stick around and we'll have a good time seeing them as the day goes on. We've done this for the last couple of years because um, we like to interact with the students, first of all, but most of the time they haven't ever even seen their instrument. Most of them have not seen their vocal fold, so they find it, um, I, I think, very fascinating. In addition, if they run into problems later, we already know what they look like. We might not go um, trying to fix something that really wasn't broken in the first place. <laughs> Isn't that cool what's going yeah. on in there when you're singing? Most of the time you just keep your vocal cords kind of in a set position together and do all the work of the air. Mm -hmm. So that's what they tell you about that. Yeah. It's really true. Yeah. The English just think about your vocal cords like a reed. Mm -hmm. so it's been very fascinating and I and it's good to know just what it looks like and the general obviously function of it and so it's been very informative. Um, I came to get an updated image of my vocal cords um, so that my voice teacher can see it and so that I can have it on file. And that's important because I have acid reflux and my voice is my instrument and my money maker. Alright, so they do a great job opening when they're supposed to, closing when they're supposed to, they vibrate just a little. So cells are inflamed or this kind of the lining of the throat back here is swollen. Mm -hmm. You don't have any. You don't have it started out as just being an idea that would be helpful for our graduate students because they sing so much and have so many performances. And on occasion, a couple had come in for vocal distress. Or, well, most of them are overwhelmed, first of all, and so excited, you know, or jazzed, if you like that word, to see how this incredible instrument called the voice works, you know, they have no idea, and then to see how it reacts when they laugh, or to see this, you know, these incredible movements, even though they're slowed down a great deal, um, it's, it's something more physical and tangible for them to um, be able to hang on to. It's an image, at least, that they have. It's not like they can take these out and say, oh, I think I'll just put some more varnish on that and everything will be better, you know, so that's... Um, it's a science as well as an incredible art form. So every time I've been going in, he's been saying it's looking better. It's looking better. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, it's, it's, here you go. You can graduate. Excellent. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Let's get to your song.